Hi everyone. I just wanted to share a topic that's been really he hanging heavy on my heart today, and that is embrace the beauty. You know, I've been reflecting back over the last two days, and I've had to take a step back for my own embracement of the own beauty and the own experience of some things, you know, that's been going on in my life, and reflecting back on the shifts and the changes and what it took to get in alignment with my ultimate calling, my destiny. And I've just been embracing the beauty. You know, I launched my book this week, and I can't begin to thank everyone enough that participated or, you know, that is still participating. And the ripple effect of that, there is no words that I can use to describe how that makes me feel. And so the only thing I can do with that is just sit back and embrace it, embrace the beauty in it. And so that's what I've actually been doing. It's been quite an emotional couple of days, but in a very phenomenal way. And so I just wanted to share with you um, some things, the kind of revelations that came up for me in the process of my journey of that. And so one of the ways, you know, that we can embrace um, the beauty is to be open to everything, but attached to nothing. A lot of times, you know, we look at things and we have so many expectations on them and then we push it away because we expect too much or it never meets our expectations of what we see as what our human mind perceives to be what is good enough. And you know, I went into, I just wanted to tell you this, I went into the launch I had this week with no expectations. I can't even really 100% say that I actually even prepared for it, but what I can tell you is that it far exceeded any expectations I could have created if I would have even tried. And so it just goes to show you that when we can get out of our own way and we can take a step back and we can see the beauty and embrace the beauty that no matter what happens. When we do our best and we show up as love and we be love and we share love, that love starts to just come back to us. It just happens. And so when you're putting that out there and you're in that proper alignment, you're in the proper vortex, you are going to attract what it is that it's meant to be. And so getting out of our own head, then we have to correct that, fix that, and make things happen is one of the, the things that we have to let go of so we can embrace the beauty. The second thing is, is trying to create, not try, but creating a radiant heart. And how we do that is, um, and I talk about this in my book, but we expand ourselves. And the only way we can do that is to know um, the expansion and the depths and the understanding of our emotions, our feelings, and, you know, um, our heart and how we process things. And so, as an example, if we want love, and we want to connect with the greatest potential of love that we have, that we are, and that we can have, and that we can be, and that we can share with somebody, then we have to also understand the depths of sorrow and pain. You know, and I work with a lot of people that go through a lot of pain and sorrow, but they don't understand at the time that that is creating the depths of their being. And so when we embrace that from where the depths of basically hell are, and then we can shift that to the greater depths of heaven. And that is creating an expanded, radiant heart that now we can actually take that expansion and we can move forward with radiance and we can share what it is, but it does start with self-love. So if we want to share love with another, we have to have love within ourselves. And the only way we can do that is to expand our heart and create a radiant heart that we can show up as love, be love, share love with somebody else. And so another way to embrace the beauty then is to expand your heart and to create a radiant heart. And the other tip that I want to share is that to see the good in everything. You know, so many times people um, look at how far they've uh, got to go and they're worried about all the details of making things happen and they forget to take a step back and look at how far they've came. 
And when you can take a step back and focus on how far it is that you've actually came and embrace the beauty and the lessons that you've learned along the way and the progress that you've made, you will continue to go forward faster if in doing so. So, um, you know, with all of that said, then I would just highly, highly wish you, want to wish you a very beautiful week and highly recommend that you try to embrace the beauty in everything. And, um, you know, I want to say one other thing, you know, and then talk about this in my book with the words of Wayne and how Dr. Wayne Dyer and how, you know, back in 2003, I had told him that out of nowhere, I had no idea where this was coming from consciously, I had no clue. But I had said to him, as long as you're living, your, your work, as long as I'm living, your work will never die. I had no idea the power of those words until I wrote and finished Twin Flame Codebreaker. But what I also now understand by the great, great amount of gratitude that I've received from other people and how life-changing the things, the seeds of Wayne really that I've taken forward and a lot of other things in my experience and, you know, so many different pieces. But by planting seeds and taking that forward, so many people have just had so many transformations that I have no words for it. And all I can do is sit back and realize that I'm only a facilitator, I'm only the vessel, and I totally understand where he, where he was when he put his hands in um, Namaste prayer position and had no words for me whenever I told, said to him, as long as I'm living, your work will never die. The gratitude that you have for people that take your message and run with it and transform. There's just no words to sit back and, and respond to. I get it. I understand. And he has taught me so much. And you guys have been so, so supportive and so um, loving and caring. And I just appreciate you being part of my journey. Thank you.